Norfolk Restaurant has made some major changes to stay afloat during the pandemic. The staff says the road to recovery has been hard. But they are making it work thanks to some unique circumstances. Alex Littlehale shares this story you'll see only on 13 News Now. It's the throwbacks that keep this kitchen moving. Every dish at the Nouvelle restaurant in Norfolk comes from the heart of Chef Rina Estero. I'm really, really fast. I'm a ninja. He's not joking. No, really. She blends French cooking with her Filipino upbringing. Growing up in the Philippines has definitely shaped my way of cooking and the way I treat food. It's like we don't have huge refrigerators and huge freezers. The tastes and flavors come from humble beginnings. I looked at my husband, I was like, how much money do you have? How much money do you have? And we put our life savings together. Estero is used to a small staff. It's what gives the Norfolk eatery its charm, but perhaps nothing as small as being the kitchen's only cook. I used to have two sous chefs, a line cook, a prep, and a dishwasher. Now it's just me. Just one of the long lasting impacts from the COVID pandemic. A months long closure in 2020 cost the restaurant most of its employees, now a luxury for the family business. A lot of our employees had to go on unemployment because we had to close because we weren't making any revenue, any money for the restaurants. And so they went on unemployment and it was kind of difficult to get them back because they were making more money on unemployment. They're now slowly recovering, but with big changes. Estero is a one woman kitchen. Every night is a busy night for the chef, cooking every meal, dine-in, and takeout by herself. 20 to 30 covers would be accurate on the weekends, like 20 to 30. She enjoys the challenge, but there is also no other option. It's what's needed to keep the restaurant afloat. For now, it's all they can do, besides being thankful for the customers they still have and hopeful for whatever's ahead. Everything's up in the air, like none of us have an idea as to how it's gonna look next year. So we're just hoping that things pan out better and hopefully things get easier and more positive and healthy yeah. and it's safe. Stable. Stable, yes. In Norfolk, Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. There's been help for businesses impacted by the pandemic in the form of core grants. The city of Norfolk distributed about $4 million worth of funding to small businesses last year. More than 1 million of that went to restaurants.